Section 1. Grab their attention, the power of a killer. Intro. Hey there, YouTube stars. Welcome back to another exciting episode where we dive deep into the secrets of creating captivating content. It's Ellen, and let's talk about your videos. Today we're focusing on one of the most crucial elements of your content, the introduction. You know what's super important? That first impression. Just like in real life, the first few seconds of your video can make or break the viewer's interest. It's like meeting someone new. You want to be memorable, engaging, and leave a lasting impact. You gotta make it count. Those initial moments are your chance to hook your audience and keep them watching. That's why your section intros need to be awesome. They set the tone for what's to come and build anticipation. Think of them as mini openings for each part of your video. Each section should feel like a new chapter in an exciting book. They tell viewers what's coming up and make them want to stay tuned. A great intro can turn a casual viewer into a loyal subscriber. Imagine watching a cooking show. The chef doesn't just start cooking, they tease the delicious dish they're about to make. Would you rather have the chef jump right in or give you a little preview of the deliciousness ahead? That preview builds excitement and curiosity. I'm going with the preview. It makes the whole experience more engaging and enjoyable. So, how do you write an intro that grabs attention? Start with a hook. This could be a compelling question, an interesting fact, or a sneak peek of what's to come. Ask a question, share a fun fact, or give a sneak peek of what's to come. Make sure it's something that piques curiosity and makes the viewer want to know more. Keep it short, sweet, and exciting. Remember, the goal is to hook your audience and make them eager to watch the rest of your video. So, go ahead and craft those killer intros that will leave your viewers wanting more. Happy creating! Section 2. Get them talking. Asking questions that pop. Now that you've got their attention, it's time to get your viewers involved. This is where the magic happens. Engaging your audience isn't just about presenting information. It's about creating a dialogue. And how do we do that? We ask questions. But not just any questions. Think of your viewers as your co-hosts. You want them to feel like they're part of the conversation, not just passive listeners. You want them to feel like they're part of the conversation. This means asking questions that are relevant and thought-provoking. Ask questions that relate to the topic and encourage them to share their thoughts. For example, if you're discussing a new tech gadget, ask, what features do you think are most important in a gadget like this? Instead of saying, this is a cool tip, ask have you tried this tip before how did it work for you let me know in the comments see the difference it's about inviting them to share their experiences and opinions it's all about making it personal when viewers feel personally addressed they're more likely to engage and remember the best questions are open-ended these types of questions encourage more detailed responses that means they can't be answered with a simple yes or no. Instead, they require thought and elaboration. You want to spark a real discussion. For instance, instead of asking, Do you like this product? Ask, What do you like or dislike about this product and why? This way, you get a variety of responses and insights, making the conversation richer and more engaging. Respond to their comments, acknowledge their input, and keep the conversation going. This builds a community around your content. Hosting live Q&A sessions can also be a great way to engage with your audience in real time. It shows that you value their input and are willing to interact directly. Preparation is key. Think about the questions you want to ask beforehand and how they tie into your content. Write down a list of potential questions and keep them handy during your recording sessions. This way, you can seamlessly integrate them into your content, making the interaction feel natural and spontaneous. Remember, the goal is to create a space where your viewers feel heard and valued. When they see that their opinions matter, they're more likely to stay engaged and keep coming back for more. So go ahead and ask those questions that pop. Your audience will thank you for it. Section 3 the big reveal answering like a YouTube pro. You've asked your questions and your viewers have responded. 
The comments section is now buzzing with activity, filled with insights, stories and questions from your audience. Now it's time to address those answers like the YouTube pro you are. This is your moment to shine and connect with your audience on a deeper level. Before you dive into the next section, take a moment to acknowledge some of the comments. Highlighting these comments not only shows appreciation, but also encourages more engagement in the future. This shows your viewers that you're listening and that you value their input. A simple thumbs up or a heartfelt thank you can go a long way in building a loyal community. You don't have to answer every single comment, but pick a few that stand out. Focus on those that add value to the conversation or bring a smile to your face. Maybe someone shared a funny story, asked a great question, or offered a unique perspective. These are the comments that can spark interesting discussions and keep your audience engaged, or offered a unique perspective. Highlighting these comments can also encourage others to share their thoughts and experiences. And here's a pro tip, use visuals. Visuals can make your responses more dynamic and engaging. Instead of just reading the comment, put it up on the screen so everyone can see it. This not only makes the comment more visible, but also adds a professional touch to your video. It makes the whole experience more engaging. Your audience will appreciate the effort you put into making their comments a part of your content. Remember, the goal is to create a sense of community. When your viewers see their comments featured, they feel more connected to you and your channel. This connection can lead to increased loyalty and more active participation in future videos. So take the time to thoughtfully respond and make your viewers feel valued. By answering like a YouTube pro, you're not just responding to comments, you're building a community, one comment at a time. Keep engaging, keep appreciating and watch your channel grow. Section four, don't let them click away. Calls to action that work. Okay, you've got great intros, engaging questions and you're responding to comments. Now, how do you keep those viewers hooked? Calls to action, my friend. A call to action is simply a request you make to your viewers. It could be anything from asking them to like and subscribe to encouraging them to check out another video or visit your website. The key is to be clear, concise, and enthusiastic. Don't be afraid to show your personality and make it fun. And remember, timing is everything. Place your calls to action strategically throughout your video, especially at the end. You want to leave them wanting more. Section 5. Survey says, using comments for audience insights. Want to know what your viewers really think? Turn those comments into mini surveys. It's a fun and easy way to gather feedback and get to know your audience better. Ask multiple choice questions related to your video's topic. For example, if you're doing a makeup tutorial, you could ask, what's your go-to everyday eyeshadow look? A, natural. B, smoky. C, colorful then encourage viewers to vote by commenting with their letter choice. It's like a mini poll right in your comments section. Not only does this boost engagement, but it also gives you valuable insights into your audience's preferences. Win-win. Section six, keep them hooked. Transitions that flow. Think of your video as a roller coaster ride. You want it to be exciting, engaging, and have a smooth flow. That's where transitions come in. Transitions are the bridges between your sections. They help your video move seamlessly from one topic to the next, without feeling choppy or disjointed. You can use visual transitions, like a fade or a wipe, or audio transitions, like a sound effect or a change in music. Get creative and experiment with different options to see what works best for your style. The goal is to create a cohesive viewing experience that keeps your audience engaged from start to finish. Section seven, the outro ending with a bang. Congratulations, you've reached the end of your video. But before you hit that publish button, let's talk about the outro. Just like the intro, your outro is crucial for leaving a lasting impression on your viewers. It's your chance to thank them for watching, reiterate your calls to action, and leave them with a sense of completion. Summarize the key takeaways from your video, remind them to like and subscribe, and maybe even tease what's coming up next. And don't forget